I'm Brian Way and I want to show you a simple fix for zero clearance inserts for your chop saws. Now the method I'm going to show you will work on pretty much any saw, but I'm going to show you on my Festool Capex saw how I solved this problem. And the first thing I did was, um, there's an aftermarket company that makes a zero clearance insert for the saw. So I started off by changing that, but I also realized that as you're doing compound miters back and forth, it still makes a slightly large indentation and to change this insert every time gets costly and it's a little bit of work pulling all the screws out and putting it back in so I'm going to show you a nice sacrificial thing to do that FastCap came up with to uh, solve this problem. So it's called zero clearance tape and what it basically is is a heavier gauge edge banding type material that you're going to adhere right on to the uh, zero clearance plate on your saw. Simply take one of the five strips that are included in the package, pre-cut it to length, and then take your tri-blade knife and slice it in half or cut it to the size to fit your plate on your chop saw. Simply peel the back off, being careful to stick it in place, and then you have your zero clearance tape installed. It's as easy as that. Now this is perfectly flush. This is really nice right now. So this is a true zero clearance. So now when you put a mark right on your board and you put it right on there, you know your blade is going to hit dead on on that mark. There's no guessing. Before your blade even goes down into the saw, there's no guessing. You know it'll hit that mark every time. Excellent product. So for those of you that do not know the benefits of the zero clearance insert for a chop saw, I'll give you just a, a few. Um, when you're cutting, what it'll do, it'll actually eliminate chip out on, on the back side. Uh, that's one. But the biggest one for me is um, if you pull up on a chop saw before the blade stops turning, a lot of times what will happen is that little piece that you cut off will slide down inside your insert. This blade will grab it and it'll kick it back. We've all had this happen and um, this is really the best way to solve that problem. So that is the number one safety thing that this can do for your saw. So I hope you like this little trick I showed you. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.